Security cameras at a sub shop in Taylor catch a bizarre robbery attempt. The guy smashes a window and goes straight for the cash register. Jason Colthorpe shows us one thing in the shop the robber didn't notice as he tried to snag the cash. It was, it was rough at first. We knew it would take about a year to get going. It's been rewarding. So that is your double steak mushroom. Things have been humming along for Scott Manning in his first year owning Captain Nemo's in Taylor. Pizza's my favorite. I love her pizza. What he doesn't love, though, are break-ins. His first one came last Thursday at 2 a.m. in spectacular fashion. So he actually busted the door. The front door came in with a hammer, hit the bottom part of that. Obviously, it didn't work. So then he just come and he just started hammering away here. And, this, that's and then this the just video. shattered in, yeah. yeah. And once the guy breaks in, he looks to crack open the register by slamming it to the floor. Register one, bad guy zero. It's Offers never changed. Change. Yeah, offer probably $10 and change. <laughs> Literally $10. And like most cases, we're not dealing with the sharpest tool in the shed here. Had this guy simply looked up, he would have seen himself, large as life, on a top of the line security system. Someone as, as stupid as that, the place is lit up like daylight at night. People next door at the bar that, you know, there's people there. He snuck his way in and he deserves to be caught. And since they posted this video, two things have happened. They've gotten a lot of support from customers and a lot of tips. A lot of people are saying they know who it is. Uh, we have a lot of clues. You know where he lives. Uh, about 80% sure that I know of where he lives. And police think they do too, but they haven't been able to put the cuffs on the guy yet. If you recognize the man in that video, call Taylor Police. Did they, were they able to recover the register? They were actually. With Allen Park is where it was. And uh, by the way, he was able to get it open eventually for that $10 that was in there. But the gloves you saw him wearing in the video were sitting right next to the register. Another big clue that oh. police think they should be able to get this guy sooner rather than later. Sure. Yep. Let's see. All, All right. right.